Morning Tubesters. This is Slight Work coming back at you with another video. Today, I will be going over what's about to happen with uh, the Malibu bill. Uh, I'm finna get started, man. Um, I done pulled the Malibu out. It's out. All right. But uh, more importantly, man, I done put this thing pretty much together. The only thing I got to do now is throw that intake on and everything else pretty much happen in the car. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, the first step in doing a swap is obviously pulling the motor. So, 350 uh, about to come out of here. Uh, it's a solid running Solid running motor, man. Don't get me wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with the motor. It's just that I have these LS motors here and I need to go on and use them. So I'm finna put them in something. And what better to put them in than this damn G body here? You know what I'm saying? So, um, uh, that 350 will be for sale. Well, it ain't no will be. It is for sale. Again, it. I ain't trying to break nobody's neck or nothing like that. A few hundred dollars and you can come get it. Um, let y'all know what kind of shape and condition that this 350 in, man. It's, I will suggest if you get the motor, that's with any motor, not just this, but any motor. If you don't know nothing about it, just go through it and put you some new gaskets and seals and stuff like that in there, man. Just It's already out of the car and everything. Go ahead and take that little extra precaution and, and do that. Uh, same thing with this motor. If I was buying it like this here or whatever, same thing would happen. The only reason I ain't done it while I was in the car, because it was in the car already and I knew it wouldn't be long before I take the motor out anyway, so I just left it alone. But uh, you come get this motor, man. You get in the motor, the whole accessory drive. You can have the radiator. You can have you can have everything you see, everything you see. Just like it running, you can come get it. Uh, no, the trans won't be included with it. Uh, unless you. Unless you throw some more money at me, I may consider it, but yeah. Oh, you won't get my battery either. Well, I'm hook, hook the headers right now. And they come with it too. I don't even know what's on, up under that, that car, but I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know. I ain't looked at it not hard enough to be like, hmm, I wonder what brand this is and all this kind of stuff, but obviously it's working. You know, you can tell that it's working. Uh, so again, man, I got it here. If you want it, you can have it. You come get it. Uh, yeah. Distributor and all. Everything. Everything. Come get it. Yeah, man, but um That's the bill for now. Well it's finna be the start up, so I'm finna get started with this here. And um until my help get here. And I'll be right back with y'all. Alright, two since I'm back. Um I know I said I was gonna get some clips of the motor coming out and everything, but I ain't have time or whatever to be as getting it out, but I got some pictures of it and everything. But as you can see, it's out, motor out. Uh, all this stuff that's laying up across here, whatever, I'm finna. Well, actually I gotta wait until my guy comes so I know what I need to take out 
what could, what can be taken out and, and what needs to stay, you know, et cetera, because of course it's finna be LS swapped. Um, I got the motor here, motor ready to be dropped in. Um, but before I do all that, I gotta clean this engine bay up. I'm, I'm real big on the engine bay, so I gotta clean it up. And by cleaning it up means literally, I gotta clean it up, um, I'm gonna rough it up, scuff it up with some Scotch Bright. I'm gonna paint it and do away with all the wires that I don't need. Uh, fenders, firewall, frame, um, all this stuff is gonna get some kind of coat of paint on it. I'm not looking to have it, you know, looking show quality ready or anything like that, but. I don't want it looking like this deal, so I'm gonna I'm do something to it. Um, so yeah, with that being said or whatever, until I can get my guy over here and let me know what's really going on, I guess it's time to get dirty, get your hands dirty, get in there and, and just rough this stuff up. You don't have to sand it down like you finna paint the car or anything like that, man. You just need it roughed up so the paint will have something to stick to. And um, and in this case, it's gonna make sure that I hit all these little areas that I didn't quite get all the grease off of and stuff like that or whatever. So when I go back after sanding, I'm gonna wash it and clean it again. And um, that's when I really be thorough with the wash. Um, a lot of this stuff it's going to be covered by motor, of course. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time and effort in that part. But for the stuff that will be seen, like this kind of stuff, um, I'm going to go ahead and just take these out because I got uh, latches for the hood, the hood over here. So I got latches and stuff or whatever. So uh, that side already out. So I'm going to take this side here out do away with it. Probably be able to do away with this little box here too. My computer will probably sit over here. I'm just thinking now, so y'all work with me. <laughs> be patient with me, but yeah, man, I'm gonna have to find a layout for everything to go in here. Um, let's talk about this wiring and all this kind of stuff with the LS. Very important. A lot of people don't like to touch on it. Nobody really talks about what they did and everything. A lot of people go back to stock. They'll have the facts deleted and all this kind of stuff, or whatever. Well, I've been going back and forth with people, Summit, uh, parts stores, everybody, man. And mind you, I'm, I'm new to this LS stuff. I, I got the concept of motors. But I'm new to this LS stuff. So this whole wiring deal is like, um, I'm finding out that this whole wiring deal can make you break it simply because of tuning, all right? So with that being said, the pricing that I came up with just to get a factory hard wire harness, have the vents deleted and have it tuned, um, Few more hundred dollars and which i have decided on it's supposed to be here this weekend is uh i'm going with that that holly and terminator x hard to beat uh you can tune it i think you can save like three or four different programs on it and there's a lot of self-learning stuff in there so that that's what i'm gonna go with i'm tired of the headache already trying to figure out this wire and stuff, whatever. So pay the money and play. That's all I'm gonna do. But uh, so now, man, it's a matter of just getting this stuff scratched up, getting it ready for a little paint. Paint ain't gonna be nothing spectacular either. I ain't going with no, no, House of color black in here and all that kind of stuff, man. Find some damn high temp, some high temp paint, black paint. 
If I want it glossy, I'll probably put some clear on it. They, they got high temp clear too. All that extra ain't, ain't, ain't for this, man. This ain't no, again, I don't do show calls. I just plan on doing nice calls, you know. But um, yeah, that's where I am with this project. As of right now, anyway, you know. Um, as I do more, I'll tell you more. I'll let you know, you know, what's going on with it. Oh, the 350 that came out of here. Uh, it's gone. Uh, <laughs> it was sold before I can really take it out the damn car. I took it out the car, turned the horse around, and put it on back of somebody's truck. They was already here. Cash me out for it. It's dead. You know what I'm saying? So, um, if you have any questions about how I function, that's how I function. I don't like wasting people's time and I don't, I don't like having mine wasted. So, if you're serious, let me know and we can come up with something because I got another motor that got to come out of my box gonna be coming out. I was gonna wait to this time next year, but I believe I told a lot to myself, though. I done bought everything now. Engine hoist, engine stand, motor over there, on this engine stand, so it's a matter of finish putting my motor together. Start this whole process over, as soon as the motor in this one. And I, hopefully, this motor will be in this car Ready to have stuff like, uh, well, I probably run them gas lines and stuff myself. I probably do that before I put this motor in. But, uh, three weeks. Say three weeks. That can give me enough time to do what I need to do with that. So, be on the lookout for it. I'm gonna have the content on it while I'm doing that stuff. Uh, let me know what you're working on. What kind of projects you got. If I ain't subscribed to your channel already, let me know. So I can go subscribe to you, man. I love looking on my quote unquote downtown. This is what I do. I check y'all YouTubes out, man. I follow. You know? Alright, man. Sorry about that, but uh battery went out. But um as I was saying, man, um Drop your YouTube channel or whatever and let me know so I can go subscribe to it, man. I, that's what I do. I watch y'all. Keep the entertainment going. Um, if I know anything, I'll share. Um, I'm on a lot of y'all channels trying to get information myself. So, again, let's trade this knowledge and, and get these whips on the road, man. But uh, as you can see, I done put a little tape on the car and sprayed my little... One or two rounds. I think two rounds, but I probably end up going about four on here to make sure to get everything good and coated. Um, I didn't mask. I just shot the stuff that I knew I could shoot around uh, just to see how this painted stuff would take on it or whatever, which it's all right. You know, it, it took pretty good. I used, uh, I threw the can away, but I used um, <clears throat> high temp. Matter of fact, I got the prime over here. Okay, yeah, I use this duplicolor. I use a duplicolor primer and the black gloss top coat. That's what I use. Um, I think it's gonna come out pretty good once I finish. Hit them fender wheels and stuff like that. I might take that stuff out and do it, do it the right way. But uh, yeah, man, Malibu on the way. Malibu is on the way. Um. I'll probably be doing an unboxing. I'll probably post it because I already picked it up. It's in the house. But uh, the wiring and the fuel system. I didn't pick that stuff up. So I'll be letting y'all know what to expect with that. All right. So um, again, this slight work. Appreciate you dropping by the channel. Go like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, I'm out, man.